Damn it. And the lubricant's frozen up. Riley, how's your side going? Ragnite engine's connected. I set it up to push as hard as it can go. So why isn't it working? Hey, what kind of engineer hits their own machine? We've tried everything else. The connections are set up. The outflow's right where it needs to be. We're sitting in here scratching our heads and they're out there fighting. We, we have to get this moving. Go! Just work, you piece of junk! Everyone's fighting for their lives. You don't get to lie back and take a break. Okay, Dad made you, didn't he? That means you gotta listen to his daughter. Come on! Work! <laughs> You gotta be. How'd that even work? It worked for Dad. If his machines broke down, he'd just smack them. <laughs> we really did it! <laughs> All right. The ship's finally woken up, then it's go time. Get a hold of the bridge. We're gonna push this baby as fast as she can go. You've got it from here, Claude. Uh, how much longer? The second wave is coming. They have a whole company up there. Just a little longer. Riley won't let us down. Save those lines for when your girlfriend's around to hear them. Pass! Fine, let's get them. Come on, you bastards! This is the bridge. All squads, board immediately. The engine has been reignited. We're pulling out. Uh, Riley, I knew you could do it. Bridge, can you hear me? Squad E is staying in the field to guard your retreat. The second wave of enemies is moving to descent. We need to leave now. Captain Wallace. Understood. I'm counting on you to defend the sh Centuria! All systems back online. Full speed ahead! What the? I thought it couldn't move! No. Our prey! They're getting away! Damn it, stop! Stop, you bastards! <laughs> we failed! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Lord Belgar! <laughs> <sighs> it's so warm in here. It was like being stuck in a freezer before, but now we're running hot. <laughs> Whoa, gross, man. Go get yourself warmed up. Riley must still be working. I thought you'd be here. We're still not running at full capacity. I'm pushing the backup engine pretty hard. I heard you got that working all by yourself. Nice job, Dr. Miller. It wasn't just me. I feel like Dad was helping me too. 
Huh? It wouldn't start up no matter what I tried. For a minute there, then I remembered how Dad talked to Ragnite sometimes. He said he had to butter it up. When his experiments weren't going well, he'd say the Ragnite was in a bad. Ha! <laughs> Buttering it up, huh? So what finally convinced the Ragnite to cooperate? Uh, I mean, you know, just had to give it some tough love. <laughs> huh? Anyway, thanks, Riley. Believing in you was what kept me fighting out there. Uh, how can you give such a cheesy line with a straight face? <laughs> oh, sorry, that, that sounded a lot cooler in my head. But that's how I feel. I kept going because you did too. That's how it's always been, I guess. Whenever I was about to give up or when I felt overwhelmed. And when I made my choice to stand and fight. My courage and my determination came from you. Whether you're pushing me or just smiling at me, you helped me move forward. So, thank you. <gasps> Sorry, was that too much? You are such an idiot! You're supposed to be scaredy Claude, and now you come out and say all this stuff. I believed in you, too. Riley... I knew you could keep them back. That's how I could throw myself into the repairs. <laughs> oh! Whoa! <laughs> um... <laughs> sorry. I think he found something. Let's go check it out. Oh. Huh? Oh. Where did this girl come from? Chapter 11, The Sea Fortress. So this is her. She really is. I just don't know anymore. What am I supposed to do? What do I want to do? I can't take this anymore. Someone please, stop me. Oh, Kai, I didn't know you were in here. How does she look? Has she woken up at all? N no, I'd better go. I've got something I need to do. Seriously, is she okay? She seems really out of it. I'm back, Kai. Thanks for keeping an eye on... Well, this is quite a crowd. Are you all here to visit the Sleeping Beauty? Doctor, has she not woken up yet? I'm afraid she's been unconscious since you brought her in. No signs of injury or atrophy, though. She looks fairly young. She might be exhausted simply from the stress of stowing away on a military ship. I recommend we let her rest for a little while longer. A stowaway, huh? I wonder if she's one of the civilians we had on board. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I counted on myself. 21 on and 21 off. You think she's been here all by herself ever since we dropped off those refugees? I don't know. We'll have to ask her when she wakes up. Whatever the case, we have no idea why she's on board. The captain will have to talk to her. Interrogation? She's a little girl! We don't have a choice. We know someone leaked our cruiser's route to the enemy. 
You think this girl's an Imperial spy? You're joking! Not to worry. I'll look after her during the questioning. I won't let her come to any harm. <sighs> if you say so, Doctor. By the way, it feels like we haven't been picking up speed. How are the engines doing? <sighs> Not good. The main reactor has completely... The Navy guys are all doom and gloom, too. Talking about how the mission's gonna be impossible like this. Bunch of wusses. Don't be so hard on them. They know the ship and its limits better than you do, after all. To be quite honest, I feel the same way. At this rate, I highly doubt we can complete the mission as planned. You too, Doc? <sighs> Out of the crevasse, the Centurions set a new course for our destination. But our main reactors are still disabled. The ship can barely maintain a third of its maximum speed. The Sea Fortress is in our way too. And we're closing in. An Imperial base on the Crystal Sea with unbreakable fortifications. Countless artillery emplacements. Captain Morgan knows the risks. Nevertheless, he set a course for the fort instead of bypassing it. No one on board can say for sure whether the Centurion will make it past its so called unbreakable defenses. And even if we do, will we have enough left in us to make it to the capital? We're short on supplies, on manpower. Tell everyone's thinking the same thing. This is our last chance to turn back. We can't keep this up much longer. How can we get through when we're moving at a crawl? Look at him now. They sure talked a big game back when we just set off, huh? I think the doctor had a point, though. They have a far better grasp of naval warfare and the ship's capabilities than we do. They probably know better than anyone how risky it is to launch an attack like this. Come on, don't tell me you guys are backing down, too. We didn't lose that many people and go through all that crap just to quit now, right? We did it so we can wipe out those imp bastards. You know that, right? We can't just give up. <clears throat> Raz, to tell you the truth, I agree. What? This isn't just risky. It might be impossible. I even spoke out against the captain's decision to keep going. But... I've already made up my mind. I've decided to fight to the very end, for the Centurion and everyone on it. I won't let them sink this ship. We're going to reach the capital, and we will make Operation Cygnus a success. We've sacrificed too many friends to give up now. Claude! Ha! <laughs> That's good enough for me! We got this, Claude! Still... There's no denying the situation has the crew uneasy. With morale this low, it'll be hard to fight as a team. Who cares about those spineless Navy jellyfish? We're Rangers, and we... No, we can't do this alone. We're in the middle of the Crystal Sea. If we want this to work, we're gonna need their skills. We have to unite as one. Otherwise, we'll never make it across the ice. Unite, huh? So what's your plan? We might just have to go around one by one and try to lift their spirits ourselves. We want to take down the Empire. That's true for all of us. God, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Oh well, not like I've got anything better to do. I'll help. 
I'll talk to the female soldiers then. I can probably relate to them better than you guys. To reach the Imperial Capital, we'll have to find some way past the fort with minimal losses. That means it's more important than ever to be prepared. About that, Captain. I'm sorry to report that the crew's starting to get uneasy. As it stands, trying to push past the Sea Fortress would be incredibly reckless. Even then, we might not be able to take the capital. Some think we should retreat while we still can. It's just rumblings for now. But if morale dips any lower, mutiny may not be far off. I can certainly understand that position. This must look dire indeed to the rank and file. But loose lips sink ships. We cannot disclose our plan. Agreed, sir. But for now, we need to resolve this before it becomes a crisis. I heard an interesting piece of information myself, you know. And what would that be, sir? A small group has been lifting spirits through the ship, attempting to convince the dissident... Who would attempt? I'm sure you can guess. It's Squad E. I propose we give Mr. Claude Wallace a chance to find a satisfactory resolution. Leave the heavy lifting to those who are young and on their first pair of legs. I will wait and see. 